Good afternoon, everyone. I'm coming back with another a TTM video for you guys today. Uh, as you can see, we got a lot in the mail. There's a total of 11 uh, returns. And then we got something in the mail from YouTuber Boston Fan. And so uh, we have a mix of stuff. Um, there is Team 90s stuff in here, uh, but it's not much. So whatever uh, Scott at Reindeer Studios and Four Leaf Cards is doing is working because I'm even getting returns and I'm not getting anything back for Team 90s really. So um, probably be a little bit lengthier of a video, but I hope you guys enjoy all the returns. Hope you guys got some great returns today. And as always, I'll be checking out your guys' videos a little bit later and leaving comments. So we're going to start off with the uh, mail we got from Boston Fan. And uh, Boston Fan has a great channel, guys, if you haven't checked it out. He does TTMs, of course. Um, he also does uh, box and pack openings. Uh, he has his uh, Show It Sunday videos where he'll go over uh, projects he may be doing or pickups that he had or uh, like, you know, seems like it's kind of pretty much anything that comes to mind for his uh, Sunday videos. He also will put out some mail day videos and things like that. Um, fantastic YouTuber, fantastic content. Uh, I enjoy his videos very, very much. So you guys got to definitely check him out. I will put a link to his channel in my description and uh, would appreciate you guys going over there. So what uh, Boston Fan had was on one of his uh, videos, he had asked is if anybody wanted a couple of autographs, which he does from time to time on his channel. And uh, I saw uh, an auto in particular that I wanted and uh, asked him if I could have it and then asked if, uh, if no one else had claimed the Frank Tanana um, spiritual uh, card here that I would take it as well. So um, no one claimed it, so I got the Frank Tanana. You can see inscribed uh, John 14.6. And I know you guys have seen this before. I'll hold it up there in case you guys want to pause and read. So I was pretty glad to get that. And he, this is the card I wanted. He had a Bill Swift Top Stadium Club from trying to see what year it was from 95 a 95 Bill Swift Stadium Club I love the way Stadium Club looked uh, shout out to Eddie I know Eddie loves his Stadium Club and uh, he said the only problem was it had a little bit of smear and I was fine with that I just really wanted the card for my collection so I got both of these from Boston Fan just for requesting them so thank you so much sir for sending these out I do appreciate it and for all you guys, go check out his channel, uh, and you guys will enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't. So thank you. Now moving on to the TTMs. So we'll start with the one on top here. First TTM is a 404 success in 10 days. It's coming out of North Texas, Dallas, Texas. As a lot of you say, there's quite a few autographs that come from there. And we got Mr. Del Harris. Gotten Del Harris before, but I had a couple more cards that I wanted to get from him. So we got uh, Mr. Harris on the Skybox, and we got Mr. Harris on two hoops. Let me put these over here. Uh, you can tell the Sharpie was kind of running out, but it's all right. He's a great signer, and if you guys haven't sent to him already, uh, I really suggest you do so. Because he'll, uh, he'll sign for you and get him back to you pretty quick. So thank you, Mr. Harris, for the cards, and then... As always, I request the index card if they're willing, and uh, he signed the index card for me. So, awesome, awesome return. So, moving on to our next one. Our next one's a 2 of 2 success in 10 days. I know it's tough to tell, but it is coming out of St. Louis, Missouri. And this is another person I had sent off to before. Had a couple more cards of his that I wanted to get. And it's Hall of Famer and E.S. Williams. So, uh... I got him on this Pro Set, I'm trying to remember what year it was, 92, 92 Pro Set. Got him on a 92 Pro Set, signed it for me, and then put uh, Romans, I'm trying to see, looks like maybe Romans 12.9, but there's like a thumbprint on top of it, so it got smeared. 
And the, the thing I loved about this card was, if you notice, they spelled his uh, name wrong on the card. Put A-A. -A. It's A-E. So I thought that was kind of funny. So we got Mr. Williams on that one. And then we got also we got Mr. Neus Williams on this Flare Ultra. It's a 93, I believe. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a 96. 96 Flare Ultra. This card is pretty beat up. It was beat up when I sent it. But uh, that's okay. And you can see he put uh, Roman's... Oh, 10-9. It must be Roman's 10-9 is what he put on the other card. So thank you, Mr. Williams. And moving on to our next return. It's uh, 2 of 4 success in 10 days. It's coming out of Santa Ana, California. Only thing the person didn't sign were the index cards that I included. And it's Mr. Doug DeCensus. You can see he signed it in the thin blue Sharpie right there. Got him on this 88 tops when he's with the Angels. And I had this um, stadium, this Anaheim Stadium uh, card on the back of the Angel sticker. And I can't remember what flare this was from. Can't remember what flare this was from. But uh, I had sent it to him asking if he'd be willing to sign the photo of the stadium. And so he signed it right there for me. So it's a picture of Angel Stadium in Anaheim, and Doug DeCensus signed it for me. So thank you, sir. Our next return is a 3 of 4 success in 10 days. It's coming out of Metroplex, Michigan. Again, the only thing that wasn't signed was the index card, and it's coming from kicker Eddie Murray. And the thing I like about Eddie Murray is, depending on how his name is uh, printed on the card, is how he'll sign it. So... This card was Eddie Murray, so he signed it Eddie Murray on this uh, 90 Pro set. And then as you can see on this uh, 84 tops, they had his name as Ed Murray, so he signed it Ed Murray. And then on the 86 tops, again it was Ed Murray, so he signed it Ed Murray. But uh, got all three cards signed by Mr. Murray. He's another fantastic signer. And I know a lot of people love this set. So um, if you haven't already, uh, definitely reach out to uh, Mr. Eddie Murray. And he will uh, sign it and get it back to you 100% of the time. So thank you, Eddie Murray. Do appreciate it. Our next return is a 3 of 3 success in 60 days. And it's coming out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And it's coming from former cornerback... For the Chicago Bears, Donnell Wolford. So we got Mr. Wolford on this uh, Pacific Collection, uh, 1995. And I've gotten a couple of these cards signed already, and it's just awesome because you have like the like the full glossy kind of photo, and on the side here, just the gold accent with the name just really really makes it look nice. And so we got this card signed by Mr. Wolford. Turned out awesome. And then he was nice enough to sign two index cards for us, identically. Donnell Wolford, number 21. And those came out great. So thank you for sending it back to us, sir. Again, that one took 60 days. So our next return, which I've gotten him a couple of times before, it's coming out of the Capital District. It's a 9 out of 9 success in 10 days. And he's one of the best TTMers around, in my opinion, uh, without question. And that's Mr. Walt Williams. So we got Mr. Walt Williams on the 1992 Fleer. And then we got uh, Walt Williams on this. This was that McDonald's Upper Deck card. Uh, 92, 93, 1992, 93 upper deck from McDonald's. And then we got him on the 96, 97 Flare Ultra when he's with the Raptors. And then we got him on the 99, 2000 upper deck when he was with uh, my Portland Trailblazers. 
I knew this one was going to be hard because there's so much black, but uh, it was like one of the only blazer cards I had, so I had to get it signed. And then again on the Flair 9293 with the Kings. Then we got on the Flair 9394. Again, it was gonna, I knew it was going to be another hard one because of all the dark background. And then we got him on the 92-93 Flare Ultra with the rookie symbol at the top there, which came out nice. And last but not least is the 93-94 Stadium Club, which of course turned out nice. I'll show you the back of the card. So he signed all eight of the cards. And then he switched up to ballpoint pen for us on the index card. And the index card turned out amazing as well. So we got a 9 out of 9 from Walt Williams. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Came through for us again. And he's another one, if you're looking to get into maybe some basketball TTMs, I would definitely give him a shot uh, as one of my first choices just because it's a guarantee. And as you can see, he has no problem signing pretty much any quantity that you can send to him. So, um, Our next return is coming out of Atlanta Metro. It's a 3 of 3 success in 11 days. And this one is coming back from Roger Erickson. So we got Mr. Erickson on this 82 tops. I want to say it's 82. Yep, 82 tops. You can see he signed it across there. The facsimile autograph is right there from the card. This came out really nice. And then again, I got him on uh, one of those FLIR stickers. Couldn't tell you what, well, maybe this one has a date. So this was from 89 FLIR. And you can see he signed it right, right there. And the cool thing about these is it gives some extra room to where uh, if I send out to another Twins player or whatever, I can maybe add some signatures onto these stickers. So that's kind of cool. Get those multi-card autographs. The multi-autographs on a card uh, done. And then he was nice enough to sign an index card for us. He's really got a nice signature. It's a full signature. You see Roger and you see Erickson clearly. So you can see that he uh, takes a lot of pride in his autograph. So thank you, Mr. Erickson. Got four more to go. Our next one is a two of three success in 11 days. It's coming out of Nashville, Tennessee. The only thing that wasn't signed was the index card, of course. And we got Mr. Neil O'Donnell. So we got Mr. O'Donnell on this black diamond. What year is this? 98 black diamond when he was with the Bengals. Nice short and sweet autograph and inscribed at number 12. And then we got him on this black diamond when he was with the Jets. This was 97. So we got 97, 98 black diamond. Again, same short signature, and then this time inscribed at number 14. Wish I had him on a Steelers card, but I just couldn't find the Steelers card when I went to send out to him. So if I find the Steelers card, I'll send back out to him. So thank you, Mr. O'Donnell. Our next success is a 3 of 3 success in 11 days. It's coming out of Columbus, Ohio. And it's from Jeff Ulanek. And the card got bent up just a little bit, but that's okay. But he signed this 1990 tops. Made it uh, made it out to me. It says all my best, Jeff Ulanek, number 63. Let's see the back. Which came out really, really nice. Like I said, I don't mind the uh, inscription to me. I really do appreciate it because this is for my daughter anyway, so it's completely fine. And then he was nice enough to sign two index cards for us, which came out fantastic as well. So thank you, Mr. Ulanik. Greatly appreciate it. These index cards are just awesome. I don't know. Down to our last two. We'll do this one. This is a two of three success in 11 days. It's coming out of Fort Myers, Florida. There is no, in, uh, the index card did not get signed. And it is from Mr. Ryan Glenn. So we got Mr. Glenn on his Bowman rookie twice. And I'll flip one over so you can see the front and the back. And it's a 1990 Bo 1999 Bowman. 
So there's a point for Team 90s from Mr. Ryan Glynn. So as you guys can see, I'm even starting to get returns now, and I'm still not getting my 90s stuff back, which is why I blame uh, Scott and Four Leaf, but that's all right. It's all good. So I'd noticed that not many people had gotten Mr. Glenn back, and so I figured it would be kind of cool to reach out to him, thinking that uh, it would be almost a guarantee to get back since he doesn't get much, and uh, got it back in 11 days. And as you guys know, all the addresses I use will be in the description. So if there's anybody you see that I got back, uh, you can just find the address in the description, send it off, and uh, post your successes so that we can all see it as well. That's kind of what we like to do. I know I like at nights to just go through and watch everybody's videos on what uh, successes they're getting and to see the players that I haven't gotten yet. And I'll jot it down on a little note and uh, make a list so that when I'm going through cards, I'm pulling those players out since I know that they're signing. Makes it easy on a lot of us. So uh, if you're uh, into the TTM hobby, think about making videos on YouTube because um, there's a lot of us that would enjoy watching them. So, so this is our last success of the day. It's a 4 of 3 success in 11 days. It's coming out of Austin, Texas, Rio Grande District. And it's a player I've gotten way back, maybe about a year ago. It's Mr. Cody Rizian. So I got Mr. Rizian on this 88 tops. Signed it. Awesome. And then he will always include uh, his Athletes in Action card. And uh, he made it out to me, which was really, really nice. And I've gotten one of these back before. So uh, you guys can pause it and read that section if you'd like. And then I'll flip it around so you guys can pause it and read that if you'd like. But I like getting these testimonial cards back. I think it's really, really cool. You learn more about the athlete and kind of what what their thinking is and... and and uh, where their mind is at spiritually, and I just think it's it's pretty awesome. It's a nice way to spread the word um, to fans and uh, pick up another autograph too, so really nice. And then he also signed two index cards for me, which these index cards turned out fantastic. I was so glad that he inscribed the extra stuff on them. So he signed his name, put Browns uh, from 1979 to 1989, He's a two-time Pro Bowler, and Browns Legend 2010, and he signed them both identically, and those came out really nice. So I was glad to get those back. So thank you, Mr. Rizian. I appreciate it. Thank you to all the other athletes that signed for me and sent back to me. Um, so I did get one point for Team 90s out of all these. Uh, I know it's not what I wanted, but um, I'm not going to complain. It was fantastic getting so many autographs back. Um, on my last video, I did get over 1,000 autographs for the year. Um, my goal was to get to 1,500. Um, I'm, I know I'm going to fall short of that, but uh, getting 1,000 autographs in a year was, uh, was pretty amazing, I think, especially with the year that we've had to go through. And uh, hopefully next year we'll do better. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it went a little long, but there's a lot to cover. Um, hope you guys all have a blessed weekend and a blessed evening. Until our next video, see ya! See ya.